And I apologize to anyone watching this. Oh, by the way, this, this video is going to get mucky. The worst decision we ever made. Oh my god. <laughs> Do you reckon the weather's changed a little bit? Just a little bit. No shoe. Yeah. To be fair, that was my fault because I broke the shoe. So, can't blame anyone else. That must be windy. A bloody mess. If you have not already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the little bell to get notifications of my videos every Tuesday, Friday, and sometimes we do the Sunday video. So what we do, we're going tanking. I've got the 885 loader tractor. It's just been refurbished-ish. Just a month ago. And we're going to go tanking with it. We're two and a half thousand gallons. Go see if she can pull it on flat land. It is a bit wet, but she's got half decent tires. That's a joke. I'm not doing that. That is currently... Uh, road, uh, 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 road to spreading or muck spreading or whatever you want to call it, depending on where you are in the world. Your tail's still down. And this tanker is empty to a degree. But I think the tanker has a issue. And I'll show you that issue in a minute. Oh, it's steady winds are right. Remember that, kids. Oh, look, the ditch is off now. And our fields have drained. What a coincidence. It's not a correlation there or anything with a ditch being down and our fields not being flooded. Oh my god. I'm sorry, I just, I just had to. I apologize. Had to go off track. Someone left the trailer there. I don't know who that was. It was me. Go on, ask the question. Tom, what the heck are you doing? We have a loaded tractor, a minor two, and a tanker. So you know that we mucked out this drop section where the pump is and lies. Full of sediment, two, three feet deep of like stones and grit because we put road planes around the tower. Same thing happened to our tank. And I am sure this is full of road planes because the dribble bar just doesn't work 100%. My plan is to get the tanker up, back end off, wash it out, just see what comes out of the bottom. We've done it before, but I'll just get Manor 2 to grip around that, hold it off and then we'll pull it away. That's my idea, that's my plan. It's getting drier. Couldn't imagine, I was talking about how wet it was. It's actually drying up a little bit. So it'd be quite nice to get some stuff on with the drill bar later on in the week. We'll be able to travel with the Hurleyman. I am not taking that in front of this. This wouldn't work. We're gonna wash it out, we're gonna get mucky. First thing though, gloves. Gloves are the one. Big strap. Oh yeah. Bit of it. Oh, by the way, this, this video is going to get mucky. Got all of it. We're going in. Clean, like, not <laughs> Sorry, I didn't realize it would do that. Oh, 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 mate. You didn't know it was going to do that. I didn't know it was going to do it like that. <laughs> Who's going to go everywhere? This smells pretty bad. So, my idea is I'm going to lift it up, let the solids and muck go out. I'm going to go for lunch because I'm just a little bit worried how much muck is actually in there. So what we're going to do is just drive this round here, make sure that's away, lift the end up and then it can start seeping out as we're not here and we go for lunch because we talk about gases and we talk about things and stuff like that where it's open, it's got lots of air in it, stuff like this, full of gases, not good to start messing around and going in there. You've got to open them up, leave them open for a while, then go in. So that's what we're going to do. We're just going to tip it over. Well, it's worrying. I've just not two seconds. Nothing is coming out the back end. That says how clogged this thing is. Damn.
Is that there? Oh, we don't. Bro, it's stuff like this. You don't want that. Bro. The worst decision we ever made was putting road planes there. Look at that. That was all in the tanker. Don't do it unless you're leaving it for two or three weeks and you put diesel on it and set it alight. Some stupid stuff people do. Learn from me. Full. Don't use road planings. We've had it open over lunch. I, I'm, I'm not keen on going in there. So that's what it's looking like. On the left, looks like there's more. So, I've got a torch now. So what we're gonna do is lift it up again and I'm just gonna wash it again. It seemed to work okay. I just don't wanna go in. <clears throat> Messing with slurry gases. I've never been in one before. Some, I've seen some videos of it. It's not me, I don't want to. So, I'm not doing it. Great, let's try again. Go left hand side. Move your hand high and shine it up there. Just put your hand top end and up. Yeah, that, that, stay there. Down a bit. That's amazing. Gonna come, it's all gonna come in a minute. Oh, in my eye. Oh, yeah. You can see what's coming in a minute. Look for it. It's like the splash back in my mouth. I'm gonna eat looking like. Get the best job. No bombs out in there, is it? Well, we know the good way to do it now, don't we? Yeah. Yeah, it's nice and clear that. Yeah. yeah. Right. We're gonna get rid of some cows, and we're gonna come back and put it all back together. But look how much stuff is there. That's colossal. A bit weird and vulgar, and I apologise to anyone watching this. Anyone else look like the tankers had a poo? Just me? Okay, cool. A little bit has gone into there, which I'm a bit annoyed about, but I didn't think there was going to be that much in there. But what I'm going to do is get the bucket and book it all in. We're going to drop this down and show you inside and what it's meant to look like, not what it did look like. I don't think you can really appreciate the size of muck there is here. There's going to be a foot of muck there with bricks and everything. So this is what it's meant to look like. Bit of stuff left there, but clean now to put it all back together. Wish me luck. This could be the moment we've been waiting for. Up, up again. again. Nothing's gonna stop us. Nothing's gonna talk this. Nothing like we've ever seen. See, people who don't like don't like adjustable spanners. Try and do this with one of your socket set spanners. Probably a quick way of doing this. So I was gonna mention it. Oh, you stupid mother. We're on, tightened up. I think I am on the hit a little bit, but now, take it away. I have so much to do. We're definitely gonna be late. No I didn't want to wash it off, but it's around. Four o'clock, milking time was half an hour ago. I've not fed a cow yet. My dad wants a load of four bucks, so it doesn't look like I'm doing that anytime soon. My wife is a lucky lady. Just think, like two or three minutes of back of what I was doing. She sleeps with that guy, as in the, in the same bed, goes to sleep. Don't be rude, don't make it rude. Clean tanker, to be honest. I only thought that job was going to take me an hour. It's going to be longer than an hour. But it's a really good job done that I've wanted to do for ages. So I'm well happy. Now let's go see the mess that we've made over there. Now they're in the yard, which is great. It's not great. At least I've learned something. With a torch, it'll be a lot easier. And when we do empty it, empty it Whoop. in the middle. 
Yeah. Fingers crossed there won't be a next time for the amount of road planes we put down. There will be a next time. We're just going to finish up tidying up now, put gloves, and then get ready for milking. Bit of a late night, but hey ho, these things happen. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the YouTube channel, get Keep Emergence on Pemberton Farm Live. Hope you've had a great day. Hope you've enjoyed me getting covered in the good stuff. And we'll see you in the next one. See you in a bit. All right, a little bit of a safety as well. Don't jump in a tanker. I wasn't comfortable doing it, so I didn't do it. Jumping in a tanker where those smells could be and they're invisible gases that you can't smell. You can get a gas meter as well, which I'm gonna get from Amazon. It seems like sometimes I end up doing these stupid things. But obviously we didn't do a stupid thing today. We just clever. Remember, danger doesn't take it out. Hope you enjoyed today's video and we'll see you in the next one. See ya! Bye! It's a bit ramble at the end, wasn't it? Whew. Just couldn't finish it off. Ha! That's what she said. What he said to she. Or she to see or he to see. Who knows? See you. See ya.